Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Thank you, whoever has uh, come out tonight uh, in lieu of uh, Valentine's Day activities. <laughs> um, or for those of you who are just in a different time zone. Um, so, yeah, tonight we're going to be playing uh, Sucker for Love, First Date. Um, in which we romance eldritch deities. Um, apparently, OBS does not like the word sucker and will actually block you from including it. Um, I wasn't sure if they were also going to block gods, so I changed uh, Elder Gods to Lovecraftian Horrors um, in the uh, uh, stream description as well. Um, because I guess OBS uh, has a, a built in filter list that uh, stops you from saying things. That it thinks Twitch might not like. Um, Alright, so uh, let's uh, get going here. Also, it's weird that this game does not have um, uh, a volume slider. Let's see, survive chapter one to unlock. Okay. Find all three secrets to unlock. Okay, so we're going to have to start looking for secrets, I guess. Lynetta, my really, my really scary girlfriend. Chapter one. Okay. Lynetta, my really scary girlfriend. There we go. I'm going to turn the volume down on this a little. Let me know if the volume needs any adjusting. Eldritch gods, cosmic horrors, things beyond our understanding. To merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. The only thing protecting all of reality from the final coalescence of insanity and terror is the fact that the unspeakable gods wait dreaming. Their awakening under aligned stars heralds the end. Today, the stars are aligned. Damn it, come on already. Same day shipping my ass. Interesting stuff that uh, we got here. Huh. Okay, so the, the lamp actually casts a real shadow on our hand and whatnot. What does this do? Oh, that's just the menu. Okay. I only have a half hour tops until the stars move out of position. I better wash my face to calm down. Why didn't he order these things in advance? A year ago, I saw the face of an eldritch being in my dreams. Wow, this dude has a poster of himself above his bed? Jeez. He whispered its name to me, Lynetta. Ever since, I've been obsessed with trying to see it again. I'm not the kind of person to get addicted to stuff or spend recklessly, but I just can't help myself. There's something I have to do once I see it again. Was that the door? Thank goodness. I spent way too much money on getting this for me to miss my chance. The amount of money I've lost to scammers claiming to have the real deal is a little embarrassing, but as of today... As of today, I'll have a genuine Necronomicon, an ancient spellbook containing the dark rituals needed to contact the Elder Gods. Finally, I'll... Huh? What the hell is this? Why is it pink? Isn't this supposed to be, like, brown and bigger? It's supposed to be an ancient book covered in flesh or something, but this looks like it just came from an office supply store. No, please don't tell me. Scammed again. How much money I spent this time, I thought there'd be no chance it'd be fake. Great. No way I'm getting my money back either. The scammer's probably long gone, too. Damn it, I need a new hobby. Seriously. Hey, Lucky, thanks for coming. We are about to, uh, summon Cthulhu and be horny. What a strange scam, though. You'd think they'd at least try to go for an authentic look. This is, in theory, the Necronomicon. Did, uh, did they really think nobody would notice that their Book of the Dead is Malibu, Malibu Pink? Wait, is this symbol on the front embossed? Is this thing made of real leather? 
The pages look gilt and gold, too. And this weight. Why'd they make a knockoff out of such high-quality materials? Oh, my computer. That's probably just the delivery confirmation message. Hmm. Arriving tomorrow. 100% real Necronomicon, not clickbait, not a scam, gone sexual? <laughs> what the? My order was delayed. It won't be delivered until tomorrow. Then, what the hell is this book supposed to be? Did it get delivered to me by accident or something? There's no shipping label on the box. Stranger still, this inscription at the bottom. It's Relayan, the unholy language of the elder Eldritch Gods. Also, the pages reek of formaldehyde, embalming fluid. In other words, it stinks of death. Why would something so cute have such an insidious aura around it? Maybe I'll take a look inside. Perform the calling ritual. Oh, can we re we can remove this? Yes, we're gonna re we're gonna remove the weird post of our poster of ourself. Turn off the lamp. Take the turtle. I don't know what we need the turtle for, but we're going to take it anyway. And we're going to wear the Cthulhu mask. And the uh, weird pendant. Uh, okay, we can't open the drawer for some reason. Oh, check the lights. What's in here? Bathroom. Oh, we've got a smooch, uh, meter now. Oh, that's... okay. I would have thought they'd have, uh, put a little more effort into making that look like he's actually wearing it, but okay. We're gonna waste all the water. Because we are evil, after all. Exit. Oh, I guess that's the door to our house. What happens if we leave? Okay, I don't think there's anything we can do uh, here. Oh, okay, so here's what we have to do for the calling. Ensure all possible light has been snuffed from the room. In your room, this means draw your curtains, turn off your lamp, turn off your overheads. In the dark, light red fire candles, they are for your protection, the dark is dangerous. Find and put on your ritual necklace, which we did. Um, when all is complete, chant, uh, Neta Afart I'm Gep Kadish to Nilgri. If I can... Oh, okay, interesting. I guess it's not going to do anything because we're, uh... Here, what's this? Why does it look like we have a thing of milk? Also a turtle and a sacrificial dagger. Fun. Alright, let's go back inside. Alright, I can't use, uh, WSAD or the arrow keys to move left or right. I have to use the, uh, arrows there. Is there a particular symbol I need to use for this? Never leave the lights off. Okay. Her name. Summoning circle of some kind. Do not cover your ears, you will need them. Nothing is just your imagination. Alright, spooky. Let's see, what symbol do we like best? Now let's leave it at the starting uh, symbol. Close that. Um, I think... That would be for putting the turtle back. Okay. 
Okay, so we've drawn the curtains, turned off the lamp, turned off the lights. We need to light the candles. Good. Yeah, red fire candles, so they are red now. We got we put on our necklace. Now we can do the chant. Oh god, it actually worked? She's here? A beacon of madness is towering over me. An omnipotent and chaotic avatar of world-ending calamity. Even with a year of preparation for this moment, I'm frozen in fear. For what purpose have you awoken Lanetta the Starspawn and brought about the end of reality? I can't talk. I can't even breathe. Blinding dread. Blinding dread. Choking terror. My very sanity is teetering on the precipice and looking down. No, I finally got this far. I finally have my chance. I can't perish now. D Dark One, I ask that you grant my wish. You wish to be the first human to be destroyed, yes? So that you are spared from the cataclysm I shall wreak upon all life? No, I want to smooch you. <laughs> I want to smooth. Say it again, creep. Then how are you looking directly at me without being driven mad? I'm mad with lust. Send me back. Send me back. Good lord. Huh? But you just got here. What about destroying reality as I know it? I'll do it next time. But maybe when the stars realign in a thousand years or so. <laughs> But I'll be long dead by then. Exactly. Hey, I went through all the trouble of finding this damn book. The least you could do what is... Huh? What? This? I found it outside my door. That moo. Always trying to set me up with someone. <laughs> moo? Who's that? Are they the one who left this funny-looking Necronomicon on my doorstep? It's not a Necronomicon. It's not? Necronomicon is bright pink, silly. God, she's cute. But what's with the sudden personality change? Does she recognize the book? Er, well, if it's not a Necronomicon, what is it? It's a survival guide. Okay. For what? For dating me. <laughs> okay. What, really? This thing? Mm -hmm. It's full of rituals that I like. Spells and how to protect your sanity while performing them. Cool. I struck gold. All the money I spent finally paid off. Wait, what'd she just say? Protect my sanity. I am a cosmic entity beyond comprehension. So no amount of contact with me is safe for a human. Your mind could snap like a reed at any moment, actually. Um, I don't know what that means, so I'm not going to say it. I'm also not entirely sure how I would pronounce that. Um, but, uh, thanks for coming to the stream. Gulp. Oh, don't make that face. I can make it worth your while, if you understand what I'm getting at. You'll let me smooch ya? If you can make it to the end, darling. <laughs> but if you chicken out or go insane, I'll end reality right then and there. Okay. Will you spare the world if I win that kiss? No. Fair enough. You knew what you were getting into when you woke me up. Looks like my only two options are die or die without getting a kiss. Hmm. Well, they say if you've already eaten the poison, you might as well lick the plate. So if the world is going to end either way... Deal. Hey, thanks for the raid, missus. And wheat. Thank you for coming. Uh, we've uh, just gotten started, and we just summoned... Uh, 
Lynetta, <laughs> which is apparently Cthulhu's name in this game. Excellent. Well, let's begin the date then. Why don't you start with the invoke the deaths ritual? Yeah, so she's definitely going to murder us either way, but the question is whether she murders us before or after we get to smooch her. Well, it is designed to be that way. <laughs> All right, what's this invoke the deaths ritual? Do not perform this ritual alone. Snuff all light from the room. Turn on your sink or shower to make the sound of moving water. We already did that because we wanted to waste water because we're evil. Uh, when all is complete, chant that. Do not look out your window from now on. <laughs> okay. So what happens if I do look out my window? Snuff out the lights. Okay, yeah, we already got our water running. Oh my. What does a worried look, darling? I shouldn't be doing these spells alone. The book says so. But you aren't alone. I'm here. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean. These rituals look really bad for my long-term health. Long-term health? The world ends when this date does. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody is in this world for the long haul anymore. These rituals look bad for my short-term health, too. Well, you better finish them quickly, then. Okay. So we did the water. We snuffed out the lights. Did we sn- er There we go. She turned my lights back on. All right, lights are off, curtains are closed. Oh, let's put on the robe. Just to look the part. So, all right, so let's do this then. Oh, sweet home. Okay. Are we, what did I just do? You brought the outer depths to us. Didn't you read the spell's name? Our connection is stronger now. The closer you get to where my true form lies dreaming, the stronger my influence on you in this world. Will I be okay? Just focus on following the book perfectly. You're good to start doing these rituals on your own, right? No, no, no. Wait, why are you leaving? Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong there, Lucky. I'm just feeling a little icky from the summoning, so I wanted to use your shower. Do you mind? Ah, uh, no, not at all. Go ahead. <laughs> Thanks. No peeking. Haha, <laughs> okay. I mean it. Don't peek. We're absolutely gonna peek. I won't. I won't peek. You're sure you won't? Positive. Okay, so are we able to say, okay, there's only a load checkpoint, so I don't know if I've hit a checkpoint or not, but I absolutely want to wanna peek and see what happens. <laughs> Worth it! <laughs> yes, yes, we'll load the checkpoint. Okay. So invoke depths. All right. Home sweet home. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So then, if we look out the window, I want. I wonder if it's going to be the same thing. Yeah. Bad end. All right. So is that? An actual ending? Okay, it doesn't look like there is. So it only tr tracks the true endings, not the uh, bad endings. All right. Yeah, yeah. So it seems there's two ways I can go from here. I'm not sure what the difference is. Uh, meanwhile... Okay, so we got the... 
Queen the Abyssal Mist is the next... Wait, what's this? There's blue writing there now. Where is it? Here we go. Never leave the... Okay, because this wasn't there before. And there's that symbol. That's one of the symbols that we can put on our uh, board here. Is that it? No. That's kind of like it. Not quite. Okay, it doesn't look like it's one that we can actually uh, draw. Okay, has anything else changed in the book? No, that's it. Okay. What happens if we do this again? Oh, it won't let us. Alright. Okay, then let's do the Abyssal Mist. Ensure the sinker shower is running to make the sound of moving water. She's taking a shower, so it is. Um, then go outside. Avoid making eye contact with that which roams of the fog. They'll know you saw them. Um, turn off your lights before you leave. This one isn't a warning. It'll just help uh, lower your electricity bill. And then we chant that when we're outside. Okay. So, we're not allowed to look out the window, though, so, uh... Jeez, it looks like quiet hill out here with all this fog. Is something moving out there? Oh, darling, you didn't! I love foggy, rainy days by the sea. It's like my favorite weather on the surface world. I didn't know you have a house on the water! I didn't five minutes ago. In fact, I'm hundreds of kilometers from the coast. Even the wildest of hurricanes would never flood the area like this. What terrible power is this thing capable of? Oh, there's something just so romantic about standing on a balcony during a storm. I'd hate to cut the fun short, but can we go back inside now? What's wrong, darling? Getting chilly? It feels like something's watching me from out there. We can go inside if you like. But it's not like it's any safer in there. <laughs> After all, this page in the book has an unspeakable horror on it. Okay. Uh, unspeakable horror? Some kind of monster is gonna jump out at me? You'll see what I mean. Okay. If I wait out here, is something gonna jump me? Now, if we go to load checkpoint... Okay, so we haven't seen one of the uh, next steps yet. So, alright. Ah. So I believe that's Nyarlathotep. And there's nothing else that we can do uh, until we do that. All right, let's try it. Can't pronounce. What the hell? I can't even begin to pronounce this. Yeah, duh. That's why it's an unspeakable horror. <laughs> unspeakable. Get it? As in, cannot be spoken. At least not by humans. Wait, you can pronounce this? Of course I can. I can pronounce anything. 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 Oh yeah? Then what's this? <laughs> Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce? Damn, you are the real deal. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Those tentacles are like extra tongues, right? Then your weakness is tongue twisters. Say toy boat ten times fast. Toy boat, 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 toy boat. Show off. Oh, it looks like she's put up a poster of her own there. Take the turtle. I like the turtle. 
Yes, truly unspeakable. So, yeah, so it won't let me, uh... Yeah. Alright, well, we can't pronounce it, so... Ah, Eldritch Mouth. Here we go. This should let me pronounce it. This ritual will allow you to utter unspeakable incantations. Perform this ritual someplace where gore can be cleaned easily, like a bathroom. Wear no robes or amulets. Have a ritual knife on your person. Okay. I'm still taking the turtle with me. Knife. Okay, so no ro robes or amulets. Let's go to the bathroom. Oh, jeez. Our hair is pink now. That's new. Let's wash our face. Oh, we're not pink anymore. Okay. Eldritch Mouth, huh? Maybe I should have considered the spell more carefully before casting it. If there's so much as a single scar, I might actually lose my job. Please don't let me have something freaky on my face. It's my livelihood on the line here. Dude, we already know that she's gonna murder us all after this date. Okay, big breaths. Brace yourself. I'm... I'm... I'm still cute as hell. But I thought I'd get an Eldritch Mouth or something. Everything seems pretty much the same. Weird. What about our tongue? Hey, Lynetta? Yes. Ah, you startled me. You, you called me! <laughs> ah, ah. Who the hell was that third voice? She takes a hold of my hand. Whoa, hand holding on the first date? Moving fast, but that's okay. No, look at your hand, silly. My hand. Oh, okay, that's creepy. Oh, what? Get get it off. Quick, grab that knife from the bedroom and cut it off. Hurry. Surely enough, it's not a disembodied it's not a disembodied mouth stuck to my hand. It's a very much embodied mouth indeed. Huh, huh. Is this really my hand? What did I do to my hand? Ha. Ha ha. This is screwed up. I mean, I knew I'd be in harm's way, but permanent body disfigurement this early on? But but I'm not stopping before I get that smooch. No matter what, I just gotta think positive. This isn't so bad. Ha <laughs> ha. I mean, there's gotta be a silver lining to this. Ha <laughs> ha. Now I have my pick of which mouth to use when I smooch ya. Ha ha ha. Someone at the door? This is bad. Did I get busted? The sudden shock feels like a splash of cold water that snaps me to my senses. Damn, I must have done something to give us away. Was I shouting too loudly about that knife? Did the neighbors call the cops? If someone interrupts my rituals now, the stars will fall out of alignment before I can finish. Damn it! I even picked the apartment on the top floor to minimize the number of people noticing odd sounds or smells from my room. If it's the police, they're going to insist on looking around. I'm not going to be able to smooth talk my way out of a demon in my room. Either way, I need to prepare myself now. Who knows how quickly things are going to go south once I answer the door. Crap, it's even worse than the police. There's only one person it could be, and at the worst possible time. What do I do? Is it even safe to go outside right now with all the world-bending spells I've been casting? Uh, probably the mailman. I'll make him leave. Give me a sec. You don't look so good. Maybe I should get the door? 
No, I mean, no, I really don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Well, you're a mind-flying goddess. Maybe it'll be too much for someone who wasn't expecting it. Hmm. I guess that's a good point. Wait here, I'll be right back. Gulp. Missy, hey, good to see you. How do you do? I hope it wasn't too forward of me to call upon you in your own service department. Is this Haster? Missy, she's an old money rich girl that suddenly showed up to the club I work at and started showering me with gifts. She doesn't quite understand that she's not supposed to contact me outside working hours, but it's hard to complain when she basically pays my rent. In fact, she's pretty much the only reason I could afford to buy all this eldritch paraphernalia. But best of all, she's smoking hot. If I may be so bold, well, I have something special to give you. May I come That's what I'm suspecting, yeah. Haster the King in Yellow. Oh god, yes. Oh hell yes. Right this way, m Wait, Lynetta's inside. I got so caught up in the moment I almost forgot. Uh, actually, now's not a good time. Think you could just give it to me out here? Um, it's... not the kind of present I can give you out in the open. Hey, A present that has to be given in private? Oh man, what could it be? Heh, heh, heh. Wait, I almost lost sight of things again. If Lynetta and Missy meet, I'm toast. Can I really not help myself with my life on the line here? Say something, idiot. Ah, uh, well, I can't get away right now. How about we meet up after work? I can't go out after dark. Right, I forgot. Her weird curfew. Why can't we just go inside? I really want to give you your present now. Is Lynetta coming to the door? I can hear her footsteps. Huh? Who is that? You have company over? Mm-hmm. That's just the mailman? Dear Lord, man, do you n only have one excuse in your repertoire? Inside your apartment. Shoot, I got my lame excuses mixed up. Oh dear. Oh man, she's pissed. Sorry, Missy, this is the only way I survive this. What's going on, darling? Uh, turns out it was one of those, uh, door-to-door -door salesmen. They can be really pushy, you know? Haha. <laughs> Haha. No. <laughs> I don't want any. Ha. <laughs> No, I got this. You just have to be persistent. Eventually they give up. Did she finally give up? I better smooth things over with her later, before she tries anything crazy. Especially now that she knows where I live. Better hurry through these rituals before there's more interruptions. Okay, we can't talk to, uh can't talk to her. What happens if we go outside? Oh, actually, have we hit a checkpoint? Okay, yes. So, Worth It was the ending where we looked at her in the shower. And then Eldritch Mouth is the way to proceed. Okay. So the red ones, I guess, are endings. And then the pink ones let we, us move forward. Cool. Cool. Alright, so what happens if we do go outside now? Okay, so she's gone. What's next in the book? Metamorphosis. Oh, that's new. Any new cha other new changes? Nope. Okay. 
So do not attempt this ritual without performing the calling and invoking the depths, which we did. Yeah, we did the invoking the depths and the calling. Proceed in total darkness. No lights, no candles. Ensure his image appears in no way in poster or tapestry. Wear a robe and necklace. Wear a mask or headpiece to distort your features. Have a knife. Always remember the second step on the previous page. Total darkness. Okay. When all's complete, chant. Alright. So we need robe, necklace, mask, and knife. Mask, necklace, robe... And we've already got the knife. Oh, okay, that's what that is. Our groceries. Sure. Okay, so lights off. I don't know if this is the thing, but we're gonna remove it anyways, just in case. Um, okay, I think we're good. Let's, uh, let's move on. Hello, handsome. Oh dear, we don't have a hand anymore. And I thought I was cute for a human before. Now you're totally my type. I'm trying to respond, but no sound is coming out of my mouth. Even when I try to shout as loud as I can, I can't even manage a whisper. Something is not right. What happened to me? Actually, can I do this one now? <laughs> ah, that's one of the secrets. Cool. So that's what that is. Can we do it again? No. Alright, I think we need to go and uh, take a look at what we look like now. Oh! Yeah, we've got, uh, we got tentacles now. What if we wash our face? Oh! Okay! Uh... Okay! We ripped the tentacles off of our face. Uh, okay, so whatever we do, there's only one path forward here. Alright, so the metamorphosis is, we're, is done. Here we go. Oh. Darling, what are you looking at? Nothing, huh? You were looking at nothing? Is that the truth? Hmm. <laughs> Did I scare you, darling? I know what page you were on. And if I see you trying to cast that spell about nothing, you won't get past the second word. Okay. Does that give us a... No, okay. So, I assume that we're gonna have the option to cast this at some point. Um... But I think we, uh, I think she needs to be distracted before we can do that. Let's see, anything else? Uh, no. Okay. Illuminate the room to your comfort. Collect necessary ingredients from cold storage, which uh, presumably is this. Ensure this symbol is present or nearby, and do the thing. Alright. Okay. 
Okay, so let's uh, turn on the lights. Uh, we need the star. I think that's the right one. Yeah, close enough. And I assume that's the right of the ingredients. Okay. Oh, that turned it into cake. Okay, so prepare ritual or prepare sacrifice was make a cake. Okay, so next would be reached to oblivion. But she's outside now. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so we've got a couple of endings here, depending on what we do. So let's try the breakup ending first. Okay, so we need the zigzag arrow. Room well lit. Oh, okay, so she needs to actually be here in order for that to work. Okay, interesting. Alright, let's reach into Oblivion then. Uh, wear the robe and have the knife. Need the eye and another life form, so that would be the turtle, which we have. And we're wearing the robe, and we've got the knife. So we need to change the symbol. go. Oh, our hand looks uh, not great there. Hmm. Oh, that is a exploded turtle. And the cake is uh, covered in blood now. What does this say? So this is her name over and over. Okay. Hmm. Something terrible, Lundbrook is blocking the door. Oh, <laughs> someone fucked up the code and uh, didn't get their line break set up correctly. Something terrible is blocking the door. Okay, so we can't go into the bathroom anymore. Okay, well this, uh, sucks. Objective survive. Uh, okay. Escape reality. If you can read this, all reality is doomed. Once you start this ritual, complete all three pages quickly. You'll be vulnerable until you finish. Do not open any blinds, windows, or doors. Do not turn on any lights. 
snuff any existing lights or you'll attract attention. Ensure this symbol is present. Okay, so we need the swirly cross. Enchant the thing. Alright, so we need to snuff the lights. There we go. Oh, uh, hi. She's coming. We need the two circles. Oops. Okay. Uh, if she gets into your room, it's too late. Uh, we need the mustache, and repeat the chant till we're safe. Oh, goody. What you saw coming through your window is still coming through. Very soon, it'll be impossible to deny its presence and even escaping reality altogether. If you like, I could move you to the front of the line and, and you came to see myself as thanks for waking me up. You wouldn't hear those screams anymore or feel that chill up your spine where that tentacle is already touching. Or maybe you'd prefer to be saved for last. Have the whole dear world all for yourself for a while. Throw the things you can through the window. Being destroyed first or last? Which would you prefer, my darling? Okay, uh... Can we go in the bathroom? Oh, great. We've got things on our face again. I guess we had to rip that off in order to... Uh... Okay. So I wonder if we can do the... Uh... Breakup ritual. What do we have in terms of checkpoints now? Okay, so we did the escape reality, so we've got two options now for endings. Do this now? Oh, we have to go to the bedroom. Okay. Alright, so what'll happen now? She straight murders us, okay. So that's not one of the true endings. Okay. So we can't do the breakup right now. Alright, so we did the escape reality. Now we need to do the dark communion. 
So it's well lit. We don't want to wear any robes or necklaces. Uh, we have the offering on our person, which is the cake, I assume. Uh, unfortunately, no, I'm not really into Warhammer. Um, I know I have a lot of friends that are into it, but it just doesn't do it for me. I'm not really a fan of tabletop wargaming, um, partly because it is insanely expensive, and um, also I just don't have anyone to play with, but also I just don't really... Uh, I'm not really a fan of the whole Grimdark universe thing. Um, like, at least with, uh, Cosmic Horror, there's a point to it. In Warhammer, it just kind of seems like everyone is angry all the time and also a dick. Um, <laughs> and it just doesn't, uh, um, I don't think I would enjoy immersing myself in that particular universe. Um. Well, my devoted darling, there is only one last spell to perform. Pledging yourself to me. Take heart. Your pledge of devotion will be the last act of humanity for all time. The final words ever spoken by humankind will come from your very mouth and echo into oblivion. The privilege is yours alone. I may be inexperienced with human emotions, but even I know that saying goodbye to your world can be painful. Take all the time you need to make peace with the end. I'm going to take a short nap before I wake up for good. Did you hit the lights for me, darling? Okay, so now we have the opportunity to, uh... To do one or the other. So let's do the the breakup net for uh first here. Um, yeah, I, again, the, the universe just uh, it's a it's a little more grim than I like my uh, my fiction to be. Um, I do appreciate some um, some darkness, uh, but not quite that dark. Room's well lit. Let's do it. Did it work? My face and hands are back to normal. Did I really do it? I'm cut off from the rest of me. How could you? Why did you? Why did you break my heart? Aww. I did what I had to do. Sorry, darling. World's not ending today. I think we should see other people. But why? Was I not good enough? Did you have a bad time on our date? Is there? No, none of that. It was pretty much just that you were going to end all reality. And? <laughs> nope, that's it. That's the deal breaker. What? But you woke me up in the first place! Come on, we both know I got more than I bargained for. <laughs> oh, darling. You realize I still have control here, right? If you want to smooch my real form, you have no choice but to do the spells over. Eh, a squid is fine too. Wait, what? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. That is... yeah. Okay, so that's the good end.
okay. All right, and now, uh, <laughs> good enough end. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna do the, uh, the world ends. Yeah, okay. All right, so we need to do the Dark Communion again here first. Um, right, room well lit, no robes or necklaces, have the offering on your person. Uh, well, there, I there is a, uh, a, another segment, um, where you, if you do all three of the secret, uh, chants, um, then it unlocks that. Um, so the first one was, um was this one. So it's the blue pages. Actually, can we do this again? <laughs> oh, good thing we did that, okay. Alright, so Dark Communion. Alright, so she's napping. Now we would need to do the, the final pledge. So we need the ritual knife. Chant five times to fill the heart. Okay. Oh, goody. We're, uh, we're stabbing ourselves. Because of you. Well, at least she enjoyed herself. So why destroy me? And all of reality? Why not just stay here with me? That's what you're thinking, right? Oh, my sweet mortal darling. I'm not doing this out of malice. You've had good dreams before, right? Well, when you woke up... You destroyed those dream worlds and everything in them. Did you wake up because you hated those dreams? No. It just couldn't be helped that you'd wake up eventually. I love you, Louise. And I'll miss you sorely. Please let your last thoughts be about that. Don't think I forgot about my promise to you. You're up, my darling. We get a smooch. Hey. <laughs> All right, so I think we did everything in the uh chapter 1 yeah, okay, so we have to do chapter two now. The King in Yellow. Sucker for love. First date. Okay, yeah. And so we, I, I assume that the other two secrets are in uh, The King in Yellow. Because we need all three in order to uh, get part three there. All right. The King in Yellow approaches. In a world terrorized by slavering shadows and tentacled nightmares, something as innocuous as an additional star in the night sky may be the most prophetic premonition of doom. Yep. For wherever the lurid golden light of the planet Carcosa shines, the long, wicked shadow of the King in Yellow is cast. Behind that mask lies echoes of decadence and disorder, masquerades of limitless cruelty and hideous laughter in equal part. 
and of all the poor devils seduced by the lavish promises of the God King's court, the favored victims of the King's sadistic amusement are followers belonging to other deities. Uh, I am not familiar with Delta Green, no. Um, I have not heard of, uh, I have not heard of that. Huh? What? Where? Huh? Did I zone out? I was... What was I doing? Damn, I'm having one hell of a brain fart. I can't remember for the life of me what I'm supposed to be doing. Everything feels so hazy. Was I going to work? Am I, sta I am standing outside, after all. Yeah, that's gotta be it. The sun is setting, so it's probably around 7pm. Which means I'm going to be crazy late. Fantastic. That's the beauty of working nights. I can't use the excuse that I overslept. Yeah, boss, I slept all day, sun up to sundown. That's why I'm... Six hours early for my shift? Huh? Those sound like the church's noontime bells. It's high noon? No way, they must be doing some special evening service or something. I can clearly see that it's the golden hour right before sunset. Uh, let's see. Call it Cthulhu, but instead of being a random detective professor, remember the government. Interesting. Is this a, uh, a tabletop RPG, or is it a video game? I'll just have to ask someone for the time on my, on my way to work. If it's not too late and I really hoof it, I'll just get chewed out instead of fired. TTRPG, okay. Alright. Um, I do have, uh, already a few games on the go, so, uh, um, probably not something I'll be able to, uh, to pick up anytime in the near future, but, uh, definitely something to keep in mind. Um, I have wanted to play, uh, um, a Call of Cthulhu or adjacent title at some point, um, uh, but right now I've got, um, I've got the 5e game that I run myself on Sundays, um, we're doing Dungeon of the Mad Mage, which has been a lot of fun so far. Um, and then alternating Saturdays, I have, um, a game of 5e run by a friend of mine, um, Probable Wheat, who, uh, raided us earlier today. Um, I don't know if they're still around? Uh, no, it looks like they've, uh, they've headed off for the night. Um, <coughs> and then the, uh, other week, um, I have a game of Die, um, which is a fun new TTRPG, uh, that, uh, Kieran Gillen wrote. Um... Uh, which uh, is uh, very interesting. Um, kind of like goth Jumanji um, is uh, frequently the way that it's described. Um, and so I'm playing in that on uh, the other alternating Saturdays. Uh, so I got a, a bit on my plate right now at the moment. Alright, um, I'll still have to deal with being sweaty, but I'll figure that out when I get there. Oh, someone's coming home. Perfect. Fingers crossed that I'm not absolutely screwed. That person seems very tall. And also covered in blood. Hey man, sorry to bother you. You wouldn't happen to have the time on you, would ya? We are literally right outside our apartment. We could just check. Hello? Hey, uh, hey? Is this guy ignoring me? Normally I'd say whatever and walk away, but he is unfortunately standing in the only stairway off this floor. The only way to exit this conversation is to shove past him. But this guy is giving me such weird vibes, I don't want to go anywhere near him. Oh, yeah, Die is a lot of fun. Um, if you haven't read the comic, I would definitely recommend it. Um, it's 20 issues, it's completed, um, and it's really good. Um, I am not the DM, no. Um, I am playing in a game. Um, but uh, it's, uh, it's uh, our first session was a lot of fun. Um, and I am uh, greatly looking forward to continuing with it. Um, it's not going to be a long campaign. I think it's going to be like four or five sessions. Um, but uh, it's been fun so far. Let's see, the longer I look at him, this guy seems more and more suspicious. That odd posture. He's slowly swaying in an uncanny, disturbing way. The collar of his shirt looks filthy. Stained with splotched, splot, that's a typo. Stained with splotches of deep brown and reds. Is he bleeding? Does he even live here? This is the top floor, and I thought I've met all of my neighbors. There are only four apartments up here. 
My only choices are to go inside and call the police, or to walk past this freaky guy. I don't have the time to wait around for when the cops show up, so I'll... But just as I take a step, I kick something weighty in my shoe. It's bright pink with gold accents. A book? What's... Hmm? Renetta! But I died! The world ended! The shock freezes me in place. And because I was so distracted, I didn't even notice the... The cultists in yellow. I duck inside my room, slamming the door in the suspicious men's face. Fumbling with the locks in a panic, I manage to turn the deadbolt. I take a few fearful steps back into the room, clutching the book to my beating chest. I died. I definitely died when I performed the final ritual. So why am I still here? Where is here? Locked in my room, I have nowhere to run. Lynetta! Lynetta! Oh, the poster is a pastor now. If Lynetta was here, she could explain this. Maybe there's something in this book that can save me. I need to hurry. Come on, come on, Lynetta, where are you? Lynetta, hmm? Lynetta, your turn to call. Missy, what are you doing in my room? I just so happen to overhear you saying, Lynetta, where are you? You sounded like you were in trouble, so I let myself in. Uh, we dead bolted the door. <laughs> How did you even get in here? Okay, that's not sketchy at all. Huh? No, it's not. And either way, I'm on the top floor, so how did you... Sounds like a girl's name, right? This Lynetta is obviously the girl you stood me up for, isn't she? What is her deal? I knew she'd be pissed I slammed that door in her face, but not so much that she wouldn't notice any of the things obviously wrong here. Why doesn't she care about those freaky things stalking me outside? Or that my room is full of evil idols and ritualistic tokens? I can explain all this stuff. Let me guess. Accursed devices used to channel eldritch magics and do the bidding of outer gods. Well, yeah, uh, exactly right. Did you just randomly guess that? No, I've just been playing coy. I know exactly what you've been doing. You know what this is, don't you? Pastor's book. It's a golden version of my book. The book I used to perform rituals for Lynetta. Hers looks way more innate, ornate than mine. Considering I ended reality with mine, I can't imagine how dangerous hers must be. Wait a minute. The sky, that suspicious man outside, they all match Missy's book. Is she making all of this happen? Oh god, when I expected her to do something crazy, I thought she was just going to show up with a hatchet or something. Well, good that he set his expectations low. Missy, look, I'm sorry, I just got wrapped up in something. Please don't... Sorry? You're sorry? Why are you acting so afraid of me? <laughs> Could it be that you know what this book is capable of? I know all too well, but I also know that these incantations take at least five seconds to pronounce, and that if she gets it right, and that's if she gets it right on the first try. So worst case, I have five seconds to stop her. If I dash for my ritual knife behind her, I might be able to kill her before she does something terrible to me. Oh, that's really weird. They changed what side her eye patch is on in this sprite rather than her usual sprite. If I can distract her, I might be able to bear buy myself more time. Missy, look, I'll do whatever you want. Anything? Yeah, see the... Commanding. Yeah, the eye patch is on the other side here again. That is really awkward. <laughs> Name your price. So bold. In that case, I have three commands. Number 
one. You'll address me as Your Highness from now on. So when I come home, it's welcome home, Your Highness. When she comes home, she wants to move in? Well, that means... Whatever. It's not like I'm gonna have to actually follow through on these. At least one of us is about to die. Wow, he is uh, all in on the murder here. As you wish, Your Highness. What else? Number two. You'll quit your job so you can spend every waking moment catering to me. Your one and only. Okay. Sure, whatever. Just a little bit more until I'm in sprinting range of the night. And number three. You'll obey every order and whim I have. Absolutely, without question. Do you agree to my terms? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. What? Absolutely, Your Highness. <laughs> I suppose if you will do whatever I ask, then there's no need to use any of these dreadful spells on me. As a matter of fact, I believe you can help me with them. Here. Ah, here we go. She just handed over her book without a second thought. Yellow energy pulses and crackles from my fingertips. She... is she not here to hurt me? Oh, confused. I've liked you for a long time, and you're a capable bookkeeper. Handsome to boot. There's no reason we can't simply work together. After all, a relationship based on threats of violence and fear is no good, right? Yeah, that is true. Right. We narrowly escaped with our lives just now. But something is bothering me. How does she remember that I stood her up in the reality that ended under Lynetta's awakening? And how did she get in through my window? I doubt she was able to climb several stories dressed like that, and then pass through my locked window without breaking it. There's only one possible answer. Alright, Your Highness. I'm ready to enter my lifetime of servitude to you. I just have one small request first. Can you tell me what this is? <laughs> the Worcestershire sauce test. Huh? Your Worcestershire sauce? What about it? So you're an eldritch god disguised as a human. <laughs> I don't know. I can pronounce Worcestershire, and I'm not an elder god. At least as far as you know. Isn't it obvious? No human being can pronounce worst worst where. Worcestershire. Of course not. It's an eldritch loan word. Why else would it be spelled like that? <laughs> I was clueless. After all this time, I wasted trying to seduce you in this slovenly form. Yeah, you should have tried using your eldritch form instead. I would have fallen in love immediately. What? <laughs> yep. We're, we're horny for the tentacles. What? You think cosmic entities are attractive as a human? 3D women are fine, but fourth dimensional girls with non-Euclidean geometry are smoking. They've got curves I can literally get lost in. <laughs> if I had known that you're attracted to my cosmic godhood, I would have just led with that. Allow me to properly introduce myself. She's gorgeous. A bona fide eldritch king in my room. Oh man, all my fantasies of smooching an eldritch horror are coming true. An eldritch royalty to boot. The king in yellow. Sounds familiar. I can't remember why. My memory of my other existence is kind of fuzzy. What I do remember is that her followers tend to be incredibly violent towards cultists loyal to other gods. Like Lynetta. Shit. I kinda got swept up in the moment and almost forgot I already pledged fealty to a different god, this reality or not. Ah, wait, I'm sorry. I'm already involved with another god. I'm following Lynetta. I know, so loyal, so faithful and devoted. That's why I want you to be my follower instead. In exchange for serving me, I shall grant you anything you desire. Well, 
power, and whatever that rotten witch Lynetta offered you, I can double it. She promised me a smooch. Can I tell me? What, what, what? <laughs> Well, yeah, we are. We kind of established that already. You heard me. So you'll match her offer then? I, I, I suppose. If that's all you're selling the world for, then a smooch can be arranged. <laughs> no way. You promised to double it. That's two smooches. Wait, no, hold on a minute. <laughs> two of them. On the lips. <laughs> Sigh, I just... Oh, that was her. Yeah. Usually, my followers ask for inordinate wealth, unquestionable fame, and influence, or some lavish indulgence. Nobody's ever cared to ask to kiss me before, so... She's blushing for real. You really want to smooch me? Well, <laughs> your terms are amenable. Suffice it to say, I'll expect you to perform your scenes flawlessly in exchange. Scenes? The prompt book I gave you contains the script for the king in yellow. Huh? You mean the spell book that I was so afraid of? Is just a damn play? This thing is just a playbook. Where are all the power invoking rituals? Rituals? Is this some sort of peasant joke that I'm too rich to understand? <laughs> No, we aren't barbaric swamp folk casting hocus pocus in a cave. We have a little class. To invoke my power, my play must be performed perfectly. Perfectly? I don't always get these rituals, or I mean scenes, right in the first time. What happens if I botch my lines or set a scene wrong? Your performance will receive a scathing review in the Carcosan Times publication. And you'll also be paid. <laughs> Yeah, we saw that one coming. Gulp. I'm getting those smooches no matter what. Break a leg, dear. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna take that poster down. Alright, what do we got here? Act 1, Invitation. Setting, Exterior in View of City. So we have to go outside. Alright. Host. Click and drag the first word of the first line slowly. Alright, so we have to go outside for this. Okay, we don't have any of our items equipped. I'm bringing the turtle with me. Oh, what if we talk to her? Hey, Esther? What the heck was that? Don't do that! What? All I did was say hello. Don't speak my name, dearest. There's a reason I am she who is not to be named. A mortal saying Esther summons me to them. If I can't say your name, what am I supposed to call you? Well, we already established that, your highness. You have many options. You may call me your majesty, your grace, my king. Or <laughs> you could even call me your royal highness if you're feeling particularly subservient. Esther, Esther, Esther. <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> We're making her poof. Alright, let's put on the Haster mask. Alright, we got our turtle. Let's head outside to uh, perform the first part. Greeting stranger, fortune fellow. Oh, here we go. Greeting stranger, fortune fellow. Tis a party for which I bellow. I invite the king in yellow. So come all ye in yittle. Wear thy masks upon you to my masquerade until he may come to lost yittle. Hope for us there may be still. Tettles lengthen, grim street stark, and to the curfew thou must hearken. Why so loudly dost thou bark in the dim city of Yittle? 
only much attention to quite unwholesome you'll instill from the souls of poor Yutil. Why attract so much ill will? Okay, we need to do a perfect recitation. Alright, so we did that. Here we go. Fuck. We fucked up. Uh, okay, we're down here. Oh, are they gone now? Put that on. Oh, good. At least we're not uh, being eaten right now. Okay, so I guess we have to repeat the uh, process. And it doesn't look like there's a blue sheet in here. Let's take the dagger and the milk and stuff. We gotta take our turtle. And we'll take the pendant and robe. What's that? We... Okay, no, that'll... Uh... I don't know what this last item is. There's an extra item there that wasn't there before. Okay. Let's try this again. There we go. Alright, let's try this again. That is just what I must seek, see, hidden somewhere amongst the meekly. Tis the one invitee I seek, he shall all my mistakes undo. Tis the king in yellow, whose great wealth I shall accrue. When his shadow passes through, wealth will come to I and you. Lo, your plan shall surely languish, and this whole town will know anguish for the king of whom they say would sell this city in these might. If he comes, you tell him you and I will know his might, all be lost within a night. But the world is worth that price. Okay, that was that. Okay, so... Wearing this expensive clothing, pardon from my family's loathing. Lasting till I'm decomposing all my friends whose strife have caused. Yes, preparing for this night, their forgiveness is the cause. They shall all be proud because I had brought the king to us. Okay, I guess we did part one right. Bravo! This is splendid! Why, thank you. That was actually pretty fun. I haven't gotten to flex my acting chops since high school. You're no stranger to the stage, I can tell. Yeah, I was a theater kid. My school did Macbeth. A virtuoso of the bard, Harry. If you've performed Shakespeare, then you must be an actor of sufficient ability to survive my play. Tell me, what role were you? The leading man, I presume. Oh, I bet we're a tree. There we go, I was tree number four. <laughs> it's not. You weren't even the leading tree. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I was actually Macbeth. I thought you said you were a tree. Acting. Oh, you are good. <laughs> Whoa, hey, what's happening to you? Don't fret, dearest. Something is simply passing between my plan of life and your bedroom. A cloud, perhaps. You know the proverb, wherever the golden light of Carcosa shines, the shadow of the unspeakable one is cast? It's a literal rule. I can only be wherever the light of my planet star Carcosa shines. In 
other words, I can't reach you at night when you're not standing in natural light. Ah, okay. So that explains why Missy had a weird daytime curfew. She literally vanished when the sun sets. What a Cinderella-like curse. That also explains how she got in my room. My window may have been locked, but the curtains were open, allowing the light in. So she can't get into my room if I close my curtains. Aww, I was quite enjoying my time with you. I needed to stay a little longer. Alas, parting is such sweet sorrow. It may be some time until your sky clears. Until then, I'll bid you adieu. Hey, we got a smooch. Well, looks like I have one hell of a choice to make. Lynetta hasn't been summoned yet, and Esther is stuck outside for the moment, so I have a moment to collect my thoughts. Between Lynetta and Esther, who do I want to smooch? Or maybe more accurately, who am I more afraid of? Do I stay with Lynetta, or do I follow Esther this time around? She is offering twice as many smooches, after all. I need to make my sh choice. If I want to stay with Lynetta, then I should focus on casting spells from her book. If I want to smooch Esther, then I should open my window again when the clouds clear, and use Esther's book. And if I try going for both, well, walking down the middle of the road is bound to get me run over. As long as they aren't both in the room at the same time, I should be safe, right? Oh man, what am I going to do? Either way, I need to talk to Lynetta. She might be an avatar of world-ending calamity, but she might be able to help me get my head straight. Speaking of my head, why does my forehead feel kind of sticky? I think we need to uh, take a look at um, the mirror. Okay, so we got uh, Lynetta's book here again. Some random person is singing outside in the street at 10.30 at night, and I don't know why. They're not very good, either. Okay. So, if we take a look at the checkpoints... So, we've done Act 1, met Esther. There's no other branches at this point. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So if we close the blinds, then Esther can't get in. Let's see, draw the curtains, turn off the li uh, lights. Uh, let's take a look at the mirror. We can't, I guess we can't check the mirror with the, uh, mask on. And I can't take them off while in this room. There we go. Alright, let's take a look at our, uh, self here. Okay, so we've got their, uh, gold lipstick on our forehead. Oh! Okay. Our hands are very bloody now. That's nice. Okay, so lights are out. Light the red candles. Uh, we've got the necklace on. Let's chant. Mortal, for what purpose have you... Darling, it's you! Hey, Lynetta. It's nice to see her, despite everything I've been through so far. Sure, she may have ended the reality I was from, but she never lied or deceived me in any way. She told me up front what would happen, and I did it willingly. That said, I'm really glad you're here, but... Can you tell me what happened, to me, to that world we dated in? That reality fell to me. Nothing there exists anymore. Like a dream that ends. Just as I thought, only... Then, why am I still here? 
Why did I survive when the rest of that reality didn't? Please, darling, don't make me see it. It's embarrassing. Aw, oh, she likes us. You're still here because I'm... I'm still dreaming about you. Aw. Everything in existence is being dreamed about by at least one Eldritch God. So as long as you're on my mind, you'll exist somewhere. That's actually kind of sweet in a terrifying cosmic way. What would happen if every god stopped dreaming at the same time? What if you all, what if you woke up all at once? Everything, including all of the gods, would cease to be. And that can just happen at any time? Nah, don't worry. There's about 50 of us total. So the chances of all of us being awake at the same time are low. Gulp. There's only like 50 of you in all? She probably knows Esther very closely. Mm -hmm. Part of a big family, huh? Family? Do you know Esther? Esther? Darling, I thought I told you not to mention other women while we're together. Especially not my sister. Sister? Don't, uh, have a great relationship with her, huh? Absolutely not! We've been fighting over credits and followers for eons! It wouldn't be a stretch to call us nemeses. Heh. <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner must be awkward. Haha. <laughs> Phew. Good thing I washed my face. Playboy instincts jumping out there. If Lynetta saw that lipstick smear on my forehead, I'd be in hot water right about now. Well, I still am in hot water now, actually. I've gotten involved with her sister. I wonder if there's another ending that we could have gotten if we, uh, left it on. A messy affair is bad enough, but with a family member? I'm toast if she finds out. Esther. Looks like the clouds haven't cleared yet. I won't be able to see her right now if I wanted to. For now, I should work through Lynetta's spells again. Eldritch Hand saved my ass last time. I better cast that one in case I'm unable to talk again. Sheesh, listen to myself. What the hell is wrong with me, man? Darling, Let's talk to her. What's this I found under your bed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my Eldritch Encyclopedia. I haven't translated it yet, but its diagrams are useful. That is not an Eldritch Encyclopedia. Oh, you studied it extensively then. I sense I've made some sort of mistake. Uh, I guess? Why? What's up? Darling, this is a dirty magazine. What? Really? I thought it was an anatomical guidebook. You fucking liar. Big, slippery Shogoth Girlfriends Volume 3? I bet you can learn a lot of anatomy from this... perv. I said I haven't translated it yet. How was I supposed to know? This girl on the front isn't wearing anything! She's topless! That's a girl? It just looks like an amorphous mass of tentacles to me. Is this what you wish I look like? I really truly don't. Trust me. Look, Lynetta, you're smoking hot. I could never have eyes for anyone else while, when I'm with you. You're my dream girl. Oh, sheesh! You're gonna make me blush. I seriously didn't know it was a dirty mag. Honest. It's okay. I forgive you. That said, can I keep it? <laughs> okay. Hey, out of curiosity, have you dated before? I have too, so I was mainly just wondering what kinds of guys you're into. Well, I kind of have a thing for guys under a billion years old. I know, I know, I'm such a <laughs> robber. A billion years old? I was talking about humans. What kind of humans have you dated? Just say you're the nicest guy I've dated by far. <laughs> Sheesh, were they really that bad? Well, my last human ex hit me with a boat. So ah, yes, well. from Call of Cthulhu. You dated non humans too? Of course. Though, me being single now kind of tells you all you need to know about how those relationships went. 
Got any stories? I dated a beholder once. Okay. How'd that end? No. In hindsight, I shouldn't have been surprised that a sentient mass of eyeballs was seeing other women. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Alright, well that's all of their, our conversation there. Let's see, so we did the calling. Uh, do I have access to any secrets yet? No. Alright, no robes or amulets. Got the ritual knife, we got our turtle. The turtle isn't strictly necessary, but I like having the turtle on me. Go to the bathroom. Oh right, Gore can be cleaned easily, right. Well, I wonder if there's... Yeah, okay, so there's no check... There's no alternate ending for if uh, we have the lipstick on us. So I'm assuming that what probably happens is she just straight up murders us. You scree. Oh, that's a more horrifying looking mouth than the last time. Shit, still as unnerving as I remember. In this reality, this is just my hand now, forever. Ah, it's such a nice day outside. It's a little dry for my liking, but we could totally have a tea tea. Why don't you open your window? Let a little light in here? Oh no. No, wait. What? what is it? Uh, you sure you want to do that? What do you mean? I mean, uh, don't you want to shower first before you go out, like last time? Huh? Why would you suggest that? Oh no, don't tell me. Do I still smell like the ocean? <laughs> Just a tad salty. Heavens below! I'm so sorry, darling. I'll be right back. No peeking fun, I love you! <laughs> that was a close one. If she opened that window, Esther would have came. I would have been a goner. Looks like the clouds have cleared and Lynette is out of the room. If I want to date Esther, it's go time. Otherwise, if I want to stay with Lynetta, I need to make absolutely sure that that window never opens. Ever. It's time to choose. From this point on, my actions will have consequences. Okay. So... Okay, so I'm wondering if I do go the Lynetta route, whether it will just go back into Chapter 1, or if it will have a, a separate storyline. So let, let's try doing the Lynetta um, story first. Yeah, no. Yeah, so we're going to switch into Lynetta's book. Uh, let's see, anything new? No. Ah, I'm assuming that this is probably why we have the mechanic to clean our face. So that we can switch back and forth between them. Let's see, performing this ritual after Esker's Masquerade will have consequences. If you see or hear something strange, it's not your imagination, be ready. Proceed in total darkness, no light, no candles. Ensure their images appear in no way in poster or tapestry. Okay, so poster is gone. Candles are out. Lights are off. Window is closed. Uh, wear a robe and ritual necklace. And I think we need the uh, mask as well. Mask or headpiece, yep. Uh, have a ceremonial knife on your person. Uh, which we've got. Always remember the second step on the previous page. And do the chant. Too fast. 
Ah, fuck. There we go. My mouth, I can't move it again, just like last time. Okay, calm down, focus. If I can control my hand, then... Hey, hey. They're learning to control your eldritch mouth so soon? I'm getting the hang of it. It seems I still have my muscle memory from the last reality. Good. Oh, oh, try saying something in Rillian! Uh, ya volt gunying. that's so sweet! You learned to say I love you! You must have been studying, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty fluent now, right? Hmm. Or maybe not. What? Dangling participle errors since you started the sentence with ya yeah instead of ya yeah, ya. Yeah. And since you and I are intimate, you don't need the gin suffix. No need to be so formal with your girlfriend. Ah. Uh, guess I still have a lot of learning to do. <laughs> yeah. How do you. Hern. Damn it. It's actually really difficult to speak English through my hand. Rillian rolls off the tongue in comparison. Hand tongue, that is. How do you speak human lang languages so well? Actually, most of us are hyper polyglots. You can't get people to worship you if you can't communicate with them. Valid. Really? What else do you know? English, Mandarin, Spanish, French, Arabic, ASL, parcel tongue, Elvish, undercommon Swedish. <laughs> hey, you made some of those up. All languages are made up, darling. That's fair. Can we talk to them again? No. Now... Okay, yeah, so we did the metamorphosis. Oh. Whoops. Shit. Just as perfect as last time. As long as we keep finding each other, we can keep doing this forever. I'd like you that. remember the last time we did this? When you couldn't speak back to me? I do remember. So, you know what happens next, right? Hello? What the heck? last ritual, and then we say goodbye again. As always, take as much time as you need. I'll wait as long as it takes, darling. Hmm. Oh, waking up would be so exhausting. Gonna take a nap before you, well, end everything? You know me so well. But don't try anything while I'm sleeping this time. I know what you did. Don't look so surprised. <laughs> Right before our date would have ended, you betrayed me. Don't think that there aren't consequences between realities, darling. But I dealt with that pesky breakup spell in your book, as I'm sure you've noticed. So just take the straight and narrow path of loyalty in front of you. We can keep doing this forever and ever. Okay, yeah, we, we just skipped ahead. We missed something. I didn't think that we'd be able to click on future events. And ever. Hmm. Could you hit the lights for me again, darling? Yeah, because if we... Yeah, for some reason it let us jump straight to there, so if we... That's weird. Okay, that's really weird. Yeah, okay, so we'll jump back to here. Can we get a, uh... <laughs> Still worth it. Okay. Okay, we got a secret ending there. Still worth it. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Skip the... Although, actually, that makes me wonder. If we jump back to here... Uh, right here. Okay, so holding down control lets me uh, skip ahead. 
so we should have the, uh, yeah, we got the thing on our forehead. So I want to see what happens when we summon her with that on our head. So light the red lights. Uh, close the window. Turn off the lights, take off the poster. Uh, we can put on the necklace. And grab the turtle. Darling, it's you! Hey, Lynetta. It's nice to see her despite everything, yep. Sure she may have ended in reality. I'm really glad you're here, but can you tell me what happened? Right, we did that. Um Right. Ah, uh, here we go. Darling, what's that on your forehead? What's what? It looks like a lipstick mark. That's not from another god, is it, darling? Because if it is, well, you die here. No way. Did Esther leave a kiss mark on my face when she kissed me? I should have checked the mirror before I summoned Lynetta. It's, uh... What? Come on, man, just bullshit it. Something. It's ritual paint. Ritual paint? Yeah, it's one of the steps needed for your rituals, haha. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Which ritual? Uh oh. It's. It's a secret. I'm going to pretend that this lipstick mark came from a human girlfriend so that I can scare you. But from now on, if you contact another god. Where I'll stop being so sweet. Okay? You wouldn't care if I had a human girlfriend? Of course not. Why would I care about that? When it's a race against other gods to amass as many followers as possible, expecting your followers to be celibate is a bad move. For Grammy Roxanne, that's fair. a requirement that you start a big family, or you get excommunicated from the following. Hmm. Grandma Roxanne. I'm sure you've heard of her. She's got the most followers out of any of us. She's the black goat of the woods. Or the mother goddess of fertility. A fertility goddess, you say? No funny ideas, mister. <laughs> There's no telling what I'd do if you cheated on me with a family member. Gulp. Esther. Looks like the clouds haven't cleared yet. I won't be able to see her right now if I wanted to. For now, I should work through Lynetta's spells again. Yeah, Eldritch Hand. Okay, yeah, so we did this. And... Yep. Alright, so there's the dialogue. We have to do the Eldritch Mouth now in the bathroom, with no robes or amulets. <laughs> we still got that on our head. <laughs> Alright, so we got the, uh, hand there. All right, we're not gonna do uh, we're not gonna do Esther's thing just yet. Um, we're gonna do the uh, Lynetta's first. Oh, no, that's not the book I want. That one. Okay, the Metamorphosis. Here we go. Uh, so no lights, no candles, no pictures. We need the robe and necklace and mask. Okay, things off, off. Get the robe, get the mask. We got our turtle. There we 
we go. Okay, so this is the dialogue that we did before here. Good, okay. Now, what happens... Well, first of all, let's take a look at our checkpoints. Okay, so that's the metamorphosis checkpoint. What happens if I open the thing? Here we go. <laughs> uh oh. My sister? You did it. Oh dear. Look at darling. What's going on? Well, obviously your darling has been playing us for fools. I thought I had you wrapped around my finger. I think you broke your vow of fealty for this. Lovingly understudy. Sister, I knew you were a bedazzled, dime a dozen husky that beds the first literate ass kisser that'll sit through your little skits. But I expected better from you, darling. <laughs> Did you really think you were just going to date two outer gods at the same time and get away with it? Maybe. Hold on, is what this call the green and yellow a skit? <laughs> it's a composition of theatrical genius that a philistine like you couldn't appreciate. Thousand year sleep to mull it over. But if my play is too cultured for your tragically unrefined sensibilities, perhaps you've heard the one about the watery tart who never gets a second date. <laughs> that one is true comedy. Yikes. You uppity little. Hey, calm down, you two. There's enough of me to go around. Can't we all just smooch and make up? Oh, you fucking idiot. Yep, there it goes. Okay, so that doesn't count as an actual ending. Wait, why can't I go back to Metamorphosis? I have to click that one? Oh, no, that's not right. That skipped ahead again. Okay, I guess we have to go back to the Eldritch Mouth here. Okay, so we got our book. Uh, we need darkness, no pictures. That's closed. Robe, mask, and thing. Lights are off. Oh, do I have the knife? No, yes, I do. Okay. But I want the turtle. There we go. Now we can do it. Let's go. Skip through these. Why can't I click on her to talk? What if I... Go in and out of the bathroom here. Maybe then I can... Oh, no, she's gone. Why is she gone? Weird. Okay, well, we already did that. <laughs> she tore out the breakup spell. Eldritch Embrace. Very spooky. There we go. Proceed in total darkness. Don't worry about these steps. Whoop. Lynetta? Yes, darling? I'm just checking, but... You haven't tampered with my book, right? What do you mean? This Eldritch Embrace spell. It looks a bit different from the other rituals. <laughs> a sage! <laughs> oh, what's the use? It's not a real ritual. I just... You see how hard you're pushing yourself to make it through these spells for my sake? I thought maybe you could use a break from the real rituals. So I could spoil you a little. Aww. Ah, that's actually pretty sweet of you. But there's no time for breaks. Not even a quick one? I can't lose sight of my singular goal. goal smooching it. Well, I'll leave you to it then. 
You're leaving? There's something I need to check on. It's probably nothing, but you haven't seen anything strange lately, have you? Well, I've seen plenty of strange things lately. Outer gods, hands with mouths. <laughs> I meant things beyond the usual strangeness. You haven't noticed anything watching you, have you? <sighs> Sorry, I guess I'm being the strange one, huh? I'll just be right back. Stay safe, okay? Okay. All you have to do is give Lynetta a big ol' hug. I love, love, love you. Aw, that's cute. Can I still do that? Alright, so I couldn't do the breakup ritual even if I wanted to at this point. Okay. Performing this ritual after Esther's banquet will have consequences. So, I think I'm probably going to need to go back and do the rip the banquet and then this one for another one of the rooms. Alright, so room well lit, no robes or necklaces, have the offering. Delicious, just as perfect as last time. As long as we keep finding each other, we can keep doing this forever. I'd like that. Do you remember the last time we did this? When you couldn't speak back to me? I do remember. So, you know what happens next, right? One last ritual, and then we say goodbye again. As always, take as much time as you need. I'll wait as long as it takes, darling. Oh, no, waking up would be so exhausting. Gonna take a nap before you, well, end everything? You know me so well. But don't try anything while I'm sleeping this time. <laughs> I know it. So yeah. And hmm. Can you hit the lights for me again, darling? Ooh, she's, uh, sleeping differently this time. Okay, so we did the Dark Communion. Then there's the pledge there. Now, if I was to switch to the other book... Here we go. So I think we're just going to do Len uh, Lena's ending this time. Yeah, we got the knife, we got the turtle. One, two, three, four. Wait. Right. Hey, stop. I need to talk to you first. Okay. Irk, what is it? What if? What if? We didn't complete the final ritual. Mm. What if I stayed to sleep longer so we could have a little more time together? Just you, me, lingering in a doomed world alone. Like an endless dream come true. Aww. Doesn't that sound nice? It does sound nice. Anga Yaneta. God damn it. Wait, no! Why? We would have been so happy. Why'd you do it? Kirk, this reality is doomed. You said it once. The dream has to end eventually. If you keep keep a dream going on forever, it has to become a nightmare eventually. Or worse, it becomes reality. Take a look at the world around us. And take a good look at me. Is this what you want our reality to be like? Forever. 
Aww. Can never come true. But we can be together for a short time, forever. What? I'm already sick and tired again! Why can't we just stay for Pride? Why can't our time together only mean we need to long their last? What if we're saying goodbye forever? If I'm your dream guy, then there's no way this is goodbye forever. It's no big deal. You can always dream of me again. I'll be right back. Aww, you made her cry. Thank you for giving me a dream wonderful enough to remember clearly. <laughs> My darling looks like this. Remember that when you dream to see him again. Aw, oh, we didn't get a smooch this time. Okay, yeah, so there was that. Then here, we got Final Pledge, Awake and Redux. Alright. So it seems like there's other endings here that we could have, depending on uh, what we were to do here. So if we go back to the Dark Moon step, So what happens if we open the window here? She'll come in. Now, Lynetta's asleep. Okay, it doesn't let us talk to her. So what happens if I do this with her present? Up. I need to talk to you first. Wait, no! Wait, so even if she's in the room? Okay. the book. Okay, so we need the masquerade mask, robes, knife, and look in the mirror. The mask won't stay on my face. It just keeps slipping off. Oh, great. That metamorphosis spell must have made my face incompatible. Hi. Aren't you in proper dress, yes? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> just having pre-show jitters. Getting the mask on is tricky with my hands shaking so much. Jitters? Yeah, you know. Haha, <laughs> I know I look like a playboy, but I still get nervous in front of pretty girls like... Dearest, you love your tongue, yes? Yeah. Her, Wouldn't dream of it. Then tell me, what happened to your face? I try to avert my gaze, but her iron grasp holds my chin firmly in place. Her long, sharp nails dig into my cheek. What an unfortunate accident. And an even more unfortunate face. For now, we shall conceal that hideous visage of yours beneath the hood of your robe. Hopefully, this won't offend your performance. And, in the interest of not having further accidents, you will have my undivided attention from now on. You may express your gratitude to your 
Thank you, Your Highness. Oh, and dearest, one more thing. I may not be as barbaric as my sister, but I assure you I can be twice as dreadful. Do not give me cause to demonstrate. Okay, what happens if I wash my face? Oh, good. Takes the tentacles off. Fabulous. Okay, so I need the robes. Oh, she's gone again. All right. So interior, well lit. Okay, so those are on. That's good. Welcome, company much cherished. May my loneliness thus perish uh, to this evening we shall share, which would be wasted by myself. No attendants have arrived tonight, al alas, besides my thyself, but I'll be beside myself when the king reveals himself. Lay thine hands upon my body, for before you can the goddess know this guest of golden rod is merely the first of the night. Let us drink to your great wealth and family and life back into your afterlife. I'll be yours once we arrive. All right. <clears throat> Yes, until my schemes may flourish, we shall haunt my empty fortress. Let us dance a whirling dervish while we feed our appetites. By the morrow, we shall know if the king came tonight. Midnight marks the final chime. Until that comes, there is still time. Oh, that's interesting. We have a broken heart there. I probably should have asked before we got to the final act, but this play isn't a tragedy, right? No, it's not. The ending is actually quite hilarious. Oh, that's actually a huge relief. What happens? Your character is slain and all of his wishes come true in an unexpected way. <laughs> oh, goody. In his ambitions of greed, influence, and fame, he dies penniless, alone, and infamous. Wait, my character dies? I'm going to die? I thought you said it was a comedy. Comedy is merely tragedy from far enough away, dearest. Is she implying that she thinks my death would be funny? I get that she's an outer god, so human morals don't really apply to her, but that's gotta be cruel even for her. No way can I go through with that, sorry. I don't want to die again. I anticipated that you might take cold feet after learning of your character's fate. However... My wrath is terror far beyond a touch of hatred. So, for your sake, dearest, for the f***ing sake. <laughs> okay. So that was Constellation. Next is the banquet. Let's take a look at the checkpoints here. All right, yeah, so there's Masquerade, Act 2 performed, and then we got this here, whatever it is. Wait, so there's six endings that we could get here? Okay. I might need a guide to figure out uh, some of these. Wait, why can't I go back? 
Why won't it let me go back? What the heck? What the heck's going on? I think... I think we got a bug. <laughs> Don't tell me I have to go all the way back to the start. What the heck is going on here? Are we stuck? I think we're stuck. Alright, I'm gonna have to restart the game. Just uh, bear with me a minute. That was unfavorable. Sucker for love. First date. Come on. Okay. So we should be able to load something from here. An immaculate performance, dear. Bravissimo. There's only one more. Okay. Oh. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Oh, so it's a uh, an actual heart now, not a uh, broken heart. Oh, uh, I. Uh, I guess we probably need broken hearts for one of the endings. Yeah. All right. Well, whatever. Okay, prepare for the scene by retrieve the ingredients, light red candles, allow the king in. Okay, so we got the ingredients, light the red candles, let in the king. Do this slower. Simply exquisite. Yes, I believe this banquet will do nicely. The room is filled with the mouth-watering aroma of perfectly seasoned meat and fresh fruit. There must be a magical component involved here, because I see no less than three of my favorite dishes. Hester is strutting towards my bed. Surely you don't intend to merely watch me eat. I didn't think she was going to let me have any. Don't mind if I do. Uh, 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 such a <laughs> Instead of watching me eat this beast, you'll feed it to me. What was that? It sounded like groans of murderous anger from outside the door. Was that from the masked stalkers outside? If they've all got masks on their faces, they must be Esther's followers, or even ex-partners. Then their groans were of jealousy. Makes sense. They've been locked outside all this time. I bet they'd kill for the chance to spend any time with Esther. Just a moment, dears. What is the threat count of your silken sheets? At least 1,000, I presume. <laughs> Silk? My blankets are cotton. Perhaps I'll just stand while you feed me instead. <laughs> so picky. If she's that uppity, maybe I'll start with the grapes. Something that'll feed her princess complex. I'm glad. 
Hey, you think I could have one of these? <laughs> Dream on. My lips have already touched it. If he wants an indirect heat hit, he'll have to be more clever than that. Oh, yeah? He won't eat anything my lips have touched either? Of course not. You were eyeing this cream puff, right? Would you like me to feed you a bite? I casually take a bite out of the cream puff. What do you think you're doing? Mmm, delicious. It's so good. I've never had anything like it. Let me try. Oh, you want a bite? Even though my lips have touched it? I, I don't want it after all. <laughs> Sundir. Well, if you don't want it, then I guess I can have some now, right? Hey. Mmm, <laughs> it's really delicious. Nothing tastes better than food with a twist of eldritch magics. It's a shame you don't want any of it. What's it going to be? Watch me eat your favorite dessert or suffer an indirect kiss? <laughs> Give me the cream puff. What was that? Very well, my king. I offer over the other half of the cream puff to your eager hands, but instead... I forgot I was hand-feeding her. Her lips are insanely soft against my fingers. She's damn cute when she drops her sadistic front. I do more, but I feel those husks staring jealous daggers into my back. They'll tear my head off if I let this go on. Shouldn't we save some of this for the play? It'll hurt the performance if we eat the entire set, won't it? I suppose. Very well. Let us resume the play. Okay, so we did that. Nothing of interest. I don't know where I find the other secrets. Okay, interior, no light besides open window. And we need to wear robe and mask. We got the robe, we got the open window. Uh, we need to turn out the candles and the lights. Okay. Damn the night, and morrow scornful, wicked morning unremorseful. Why tonight must I be mournful for ambitions unfulfilled? After all my preparations, all the daylights I've killed, why is it us only still? Oh, why are my wishes unfulfilled? Wretched guest, you come to mock me? For bemusement thou wast talking, and so in the town you stalked me to watch my schemes fall apart. Strip thy mask, apologize, then hastily depart. Leave thee just my broken heart. Leave naught else in whole or part. I wear no mask, no witness, for it was thee who hast permit this golden guest to own the dimness of the city of Catil. Go, for I'm the king in yellow who oh, whoa. shadows on your tail, and whose shadow you're in still. Okay. Oh, so we've been fatally injured now. What if we switch books? Oh, 
Well, let's finish this, uh... Masquerade here first. <clears throat> Irk. Draw thy blade from mine contusion. My life reaches its conclusion. Cruelty matched by your delusion that you truly are the king. Yes, you would have granted all my wishes, not forsaken me. If indeed you were the king, why would you have murdered me? Innumerable voices make up the cacophony of cheering outside my door. Fanatical revelry, screams of terror, and sadistic amusement, all amidst thunderous applause. The king has come. Smile, dearest, smile! Aren't you proud of yourself? Why, why didn't you use a stage knife? I'm really bleeding out here. My blood streams from a gaping wound in my chest. My abdomen is unseamed. To ensure you stay in character, call it method acting, if you will. Wow, that's kind of rude. Oh, with sweet sorrow, the curtain falls, and the show begins. The stage is now set for you to inscribe the yellow sign. Do this, and I will bestow upon you the smooch I promised. You mean the smooches you promised. Plural. You said you'd give me two. Even now, that's really all you can think about? <laughs> Your world is about to be enslaved by a whore from beyond the stars. You're dying from a stab wound. And you're worried about smooches? Well, gotta say, the guy's dedicated. You are an interesting human. It is a pity that you'll soon cast away your individuality for me. Hmm, is there a ritual here that, uh... I wonder... Wait a second, I saw blue. Oh, that must be how you get one of the secrets. Is to not prepare the food. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back and do that. After we get the ending. Okay, yes, we did that. And yes, and so they did all of that. Here we go. The yellow sign is only visible or drawable by those who have witnessed or performed the King in Yellow play. Being exposed to the yellow sign after witnessing or performing the play, the king in yellow will cause a permanent, irreversible obsession with the king, her court, and Carcosa. Um, this insane obsession persists after death. If you are content to spend your life with the king, dim all lights, leaving your window open, and light black fire candles. This will allow otherworldly images to reveal themselves. Draw the shape below without the X. Okay. Uh, so we need that hooky one. Behold there we go. The yellow sign. Become my slave, my eternal. 
a captive audience. I am entropy. Disorder. Where things are built tall, I appear to knock them down. Monuments. Nations. Relationships. Some of these husks have wedding rings on their fingers. I steal the hearts and minds of the rich or powerful to break them. And litter my court with them like gold sacks. But why me of all people? I'm broke. Because I am the breeze of chaos that knocks down any power that challenges the grandness of my court. Your relationship with my sister was one of those things. Before, I only pursued you because you have a great ruling cloud amongst the Nycoling cloud and shrewd wealthy pets. You would have made an incredibly powerful servant who would have been able to draw in countless wayward souls that meet my standards. At least, until that reality ended and you undid all of my hard work. All of my followers that I had stolen from Lynetta. I had no choice but to abandon that reality. There's nothing left to destroy if nothing exists, you see. But in this reality, I've stolen away her most powerful asset. You. Just as I've stolen every member of my entourage. All the husks, they're bleeding from their chest onto their elegant robes, just like me. All these people, why? Why? Because it's what I do. Fair. No, I mean, why are they still here? Aren't they kind of third-wheeling our moment here? Kick them out. Huh? Such a defiant tone. Why aren't you under the effects of the yellow sign? Were <laughs> you... unaffected? Did... did the spell fail? I don't feel any different. You're supposed to be obsessed with me! Ah, I already was since I first saw you. That's why your little spell didn't work. <laughs> you can try and resist it all you want, but one way or another, you're my eternal slave from now on. Are you proposing to me? I accept. No, dearest, I'm not talking about marriage. <laughs> about is catering to my every whim, anticipating my every desire, and living fully to please me. Yeah, uh, that just sounds like marriage. No! I'm tired of all that servitude <laughs> where you do nothing but kiss the ground I walk on and revere me for all of time! A servitude unlike anything on Earth, where you never so much as think of anyone else! No, we have that on Earth, and it's called marriage. It's different! <laughs> He's not. It is too! How so? It means no freedom, forever. You are only permitted to do as I say. Yep. And it means preparing every single one of my meals for me, whenever I so wish. Yeah, for sure. And it means never being allowed to quit your servitude. You'll never be free of me so long as you until death do us part, even. Exactly. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry, but you're literally just describing being married. I mean, hey, if that's what you want, then I'm in. Let's get married. <laughs> oh, damn. We went for it. I preferred you from the beginning. I already broke up with Lynetta in the other reality, actually. Why are you being so persistent? You can't really want to marry me that badly. You're just trying to act all smooth, so I give you your second suit. Save it for our wedding day. <laughs> it's serious. He was serious. <laughs> okay. That's uh, certainly an ending. We married Haster. 
Okay, so let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got the King in White uh, achievement there. Let's go back to the banquet. Oh, no. We want to go back further than that. Act 2, here we go. Okay. Okay, so we need to do this without having the ingredients in order to get the, uh, the secret. Um, we need to light the red fire candles and let the king in. Hey, Esther? <laughs> Don't do that! What? All I did was say hello. Oh, okay, that's just the one that we already did. Oh, she's got a second foot. I was just thinking, you know how saying your name summons you? Yes, what of it? There's an old myth that saying Bloody Mary in the mirror three times at midnight summons an angry demon to your room. Really? I've never heard of such a ritual. Does it work? It summoned my neighbor telling me to shut the hell up and go to bed. So, sort of. More questions, dearest? You read my mind. I was just wondering, what exactly are you? What do you mean? Well, you can only be wherever light is. Does that make you a bunch of light particles or something? Not just any light. Specifically, the light of planet star Karkota, which moves and shines to my will. If Karkota was destroyed, I would cease to be. The same would happen if the light went out or was permanently blocked. So in a way, I am the bewitching goddess you see before you, the planet Karkota and its light. So that makes you a person, place, and thing. I suppose, yes. Well, I know what I'm picking next time I play 20 questions. <laughs> oh, there's more. So, Lynetta is your sister? Half-sister. One of our parents is the same. Though we have the same grandparents, so cousins is also technically accurate. <laughs> Wait, your grandparents are the same? So both yours and Lynetta's parents are related to each other by blood? I suppose so. Why? You're inbred? <laughs> the term is purebred, dearest. Damn. After all, there's only about 50 of us total. Not unlike a pantheon of gods. In Greek mythology, Zeus and Hera, husband and wife, were siblings. This kind of thing is only natural when godhood is involved. Oh, I see. Makes sense. You would do well to remember that ethics, taboos, and social norms between gods are not like yours, hmm? Things aren't so white and black in the outer cosmos. They're more... pink and yellow. <laughs> okay, so that's all of that. So we open... Okay, so close that, turn off that. Got the ingredients, light the candles, and put the ingredients back. Open the window. Why isn't it working? What if I change that to black? Yeah, okay, so I've got the ingredients now. i got black candles. Oh, right, I need to do the chant. That's why. Alright, red candles, window open, no ingredients. Wait, what? But we didn't do it. We didn't have the ingredients with us. An immaculate performance. Yeah. Hmm. 
Okay, so what if we change it to black? Too fast. What? But I made it black candles. Why am I not getting the uh, special? Yeah, because this is just going like the normal... Uh, the normal event is. I don't get it. That should have given me... Unless I need the window closed. That could be it. Let's try that. Yeah, 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 immaculate performance. Window closed. Red flame candles. We got the ingredients. Okay, so that won't work. If I wear that, change that to black. Maybe open the window. No? Yeah, I don't know how to uh, trigger whatever that event is supposed to be. Well. I wonder if that's a bug. Well, we can do this now. Because doing this after the masquerade will have consequences. Uh, we need the robe. Close the window. Total darkness, so... No images. No candles. And I need the knife. This part is annoying. Uh-oh, I can't get the ritual mask to stay on over my masquerade one. She's finished with her shower? Uh, yeah, I'm just working on my pronunciation. She's right in front of me. Maybe if I bury my face in this book, she won't notice. The mask is fused to my face. Oh. Are you stuck on a word? I can help you sound it out. Let me see the page. No, no, I got it. I'm a big boy. Relaying can't be harder to figure out than English. Haha. <laughs> it would probably be easier to read if the book wasn't upside down, darling. <laughs> oh, that explains why I couldn't read it. Haha. <laughs> okay, I think I've got it now. Darling, why are you holding it so close to your face? The font shouldn't be that small. Uh, my eyesight has been going for a while now. I gotta pick up some prescription reading glasses, but I keep putting it off. Haha. <laughs> I didn't know you need glasses. I, uh, usually wear contacts. But you aren't wearing them now? Oh, I guess not. I must have dropped them on the ground somewhere in the last reality, ha. Huh. Darling! Yeah? Put the book down. Gulp. Now. That's it, I'm screwed. If she sees this masquerade mask on my face, she'll know I've been meeting with Esther. Think, think, think. <laughs> Quick, the bathroom! Will that door hold? No telling. If this mask is still on my face when she gets in...
so, I have no other option. I dig my fingers under the edge of the mask. Hmm, hern, ha! Ah. Feels like I'm pulling my very fingernails off for mere millimeters of leverage. The mask feels fused to my skin. I'm taking off large chunks of flesh with every pull. This pain, it's unreal. What's going on in there? Let's move in. It's do or die. Take a deep breath and pull the mask forward until my skin is taut and there's no more give. Then I... Ugh. Why did you lock me out, darling? Heavens were alone! What happened to you? I... I... I can't even formulate thoughts right now. Whatever happens here, happens. Is that why you were hiding your face? No, baby. I don't care about any of that. I'm not so shallow that I'd fuss over what you look like. I'm here because I like you. No matter what happens to you. Don't be so self-conscious around me, okay? Banana? Just let me hold you. She's too sweet. This feeling right now almost makes tearing off my face worth it. Almost. Just stay right there until you're mentally prepared to continue. Okay. I end up blacking out from the pain, waking up sometime later in my bed. The golden mask was nowhere to be found. Can we talk? Why can't I click on her to talk? I think I should wash my face. Oh, she's not here anymore. Okay. Yes, darling. Aneta? Uh, yeah, so this is, we've gotten this one before. Okay, so we did do the... We did do the banquet, I'm pretty sure. Yes, we did. So let's do the Dark Communion. Uh, well lit. No robes or necklaces. We need the offering. And do the chant. I already used up my supplies to cook for Esther. All that's left is leftovers from her banquet. That's no good, darling. It's no good to leave dirty dishes out. Especially after eating so much. You know... It's important to take your diet seriously. You should be more careful when your health is on the line. I'll remember that. This much food. It's surprising that you were able to eat it alone. Yeah, well, I know I don't look it, but I'm a big eater. Especially with sweets. You are so interesting, darling. I'm learning something new about you every day. I can't tell if she's on to me or if she's in denial, but I sense I'm in trouble. It just can't be helped if you've got a sweet tooth. Do you want me to feed you the last of it? What, the leftovers? I'm good. It's no good to waste food, darling. No, you were right. I should watch my diet more carefully. If you've already eaten the poison, you may as well lick the plate, as they say. Time full. Make room in your dessert stomach. She's merciless. Say ah. No. Huh? You don't want to eat? I wonder. If this isn't the food that you like, it sounds like you're saying this was for someone else. But that can't be right. 
After all, my darling would secretly be hosting communion with other gods behind my back. Right, darling? Those are dangerous eyes. I've got my back against the wall here. Even if she knows, I have to keep up appearances here, or she'll drag me to oblivion without a second thought. I reluctantly unclench my teeth and open my mouth. A juice-soaked morsel from the leftovers is shoveled into my mouth. It feels gritty, with an unusual texture, like it's covered in thousands of small hairs. It tastes uh, strangely. I can't even begin to guess what food this used to be. I try to gulp it down before I can taste it, but it's too big to swallow whole. If I just bite it in half once and swallow the pieces, I might get it down before I gag. As I bite down, it bursts like a tomato, filling my mouth with the sweet juice. It tastes extremely fruity, sort of pineapple-y even. That is... that is good. It's better than good, it's great. It's godlike nectar, instantly addictive ambrosia. More, I need more. It's too delicious to just have one bite. It's seriously like nothing else. As soon as I swallow, I feel the immediate effects of withdrawal. My fond memories of any other food fade to utter disgust. The mere thought of ever eating anything else makes my stomach churn. I greedily take another bite, filling my mouth with as much as I can. The smooth nectar bursting from every bite swims around in my mouth, coating every surface. It's so delicious that it's making my mouth tingle. Huh? Did I just bite my cheek? Why do I taste blood? The dull tingling suddenly turns into a sharp sting, then an unbearable burning. My whole mouth feels raw, like I'm gargling acid. It's like my mouth is being digested. I lurch to spit it out, but my willpower fails me. I just can't bear to spit it out. It's too good. Just a little while longer. Let me chew it just a little while longer. The food falls out of my mouth with a splat as a heap of bloody viscera. It might be imagination, but I swear I spat out twice as much as I put in my mouth. The horror. Hard boy. You know how much I love to spoil you. Do you remember the last time we did this? When you couldn't speak back to me? I do remember. So, you know what happens next. One last ritual, and then we say goodbye again. As always, take as much time as you need. Okay. Okay. So I guess we're going to get a different ending because we have a black heart. We need to talk. I want to. I want to apologize for being so nasty to you earlier. Okay? Is, even though I knew you were acting strangely, I was still clinging to you selfishly because I was so, so mad at you. I just wanted to have the best prom and work for a happy future together. So I thought I could scare you straight. But now I know that's not possible. Not here. Not now. You're just not the same person that ended reality for me so long ago. So, let's break up. Oh, dang. Lynetta, I'm sorry. Don't be. There's no need to end this reality just so we can have an unhealthy, failing relationship. So, I'll go back to sleep. Before billions die for my sake. But where do we go from here? What's left after today? Tomorrow, silly. You're taking the book with you, too? I'm just giving it back to me. It's not like I'll have a need for it. Hopefully this book never finds its way back to your world. For your sake, and mine. I'll handle the book, but if you survive, could you throw out the rest of these summoning artifacts? It's no good to keep things that remind you of me, you know? I'm sorry. Beautiful day outside. 
You should open the window. Maybe let in some light. Take care. Friend zone. Wow. Okay, so I'm guessing that was one of these ends. Yes, okay. So, end zone. Alright. So, I'm not sure where I would need to go in order to get the rest of the endings there. Um, but we're getting to the end of the, uh, the stream anyways. Um, so I'll probably, uh, go through and, uh, get the rest of the endings on my own time, because, uh, <laughs> it probably wouldn't be super fun just watching me re-go through all the same stuff over and over again, um, just to get to the other, uh, the other content. Um, so, yeah. Oh, we did get two secrets. Okay. I guess I just need to figure out where the third one is. Huh. All right, well. Sucker for love. First date. Yeah, you know. All right, yeah, so uh, thank you everyone for coming. It's uh, very much appreciated having you guys here for the stream. Um, let's see, tomorrow is Wednesday, so there's no stream. Um, Thursday, we're going to be playing Grimm's Hollow. Um, it's an interesting little uh, RPG that uh, um, I found... And, uh, it, uh, reviewed well, so hopefully that should be a lot of fun. Um, then Friday will be Persona 4 Golden, like usual. Um, no Sunday stream this week, because, um, I will be away. Um, and, uh, then we will, uh, just, uh, pick back up next week. I'm still deciding what I'm going to do for, uh, next week's streams, so, uh, um, if you do have any suggestions, you can absolutely feel free to drop recommendations in the Discord. Uh, the link is down below the stream. Uh, I also post uh, uh, stream announcements and weekly schedules and uh, any other announcements that happen to come up. So uh, it's a great way to keep on top of things. Um, other than that, um, thank you guys for showing up. Hope that uh, you had a uh, tolerable Valentine's Day. And uh, hopefully you uh, get some good rest. So uh, thank you for coming and uh, see you on Thursday.